another sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aries, for your advice we have partnership. And on the flip side of partnership, it reads God speaks to us through people. We are ambassadors of grace for one another. And partnership is paired with oneness is my true nature. So basically, what I think these two cards are trying to say is that um, uh, some of you Aries that are listening, you probably are probably focused on yourself or you're the type of person that probably stick to yourself. Um, not that you're self-centered, but you might have had some experiences throughout life that um, just made you think that it's just best to stick to yourself. So some people might see you as a loner or just not wanting to be bothered. And you probably have been that way for a while or maybe just temporary. But like I said, this, I'm picking up, this is for some Aries, not all Aries. But um, if this is you, uh, this card that says partnership, um, God speaks to us through people. We are ambassadors of grace for one another. It's just saying that if this is you, if you're the loner type, if you're comfortable just always being by yourself, um, it's saying that uh, make sure that you try to remember to incorporate people into your life um, because when God wants to send a blessing he wants to send you a message a hint or a note or he wants to send you something it usually comes through people he'll send it through people to you that's how you're going to get your blessings from him and anything else that he's trying to send you. It's not going to come just from you sitting at home by yourself or just being to yourself. And he works through people to get to you or to get through you. So, if this is you, like I said, it won't resonate with all Aries because a lot of people are around a lot of people but a lot of people they have experienced certain things in life and they find that it's just easier to be um, oneness or just themselves or just to themselves and this card is saying oneness is my true nature so I mean there's nothing wrong with that if you are uh, some people consider you a loner but just don't forget People are going to bring you your blessings. And they're going to bring you everything that uh, God has in store for you. He's going to send it through people to you. So uh, just make sure uh, that you remember to socialize. Try to socialize and uh, be with people as hard as it can be for some people. Because some people are truly comfortable with just being by themselves. And they're normal people. They're not um, some Jeffrey Dahmer or some crazy person that does weird things. Some people are normal, and they're they like they're okay being by themselves, and they're not a sick psycho. Because when people think that you you're by yourself all the time or you you're alone, something's wrong. You must be Jeffrey Dahmer's relative. And you must keep people locked up inside the walls. <laughs> no, there's some normal people that are okay with being alone. They just have, they have a certain strength that a lot of people cannot relate to. So, anyway, if this is you, don't forget. Try to incorporate some people into your life. Because you never know what you could be missing out on. You could be missing out on something that God wants to send you. You know, it could be a blessing. So let's get off of this oracle advice because I know you're ready to get on to the reading. 
So, Aries, for the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it's going to pass. If suddenly you find you're sitting on top of the world, make sure you keep your perspective. Keep your perspective because like everything else, it changes. Live in the, live in the now and count your blessings. And just realize that much of life is outside of your control, but even that is okay. Roll with any changes and be positive in the month of March. That's a tip for you. And when this Wheel of Fortune talks about love and relationships, it could be possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or possibly no longer going to suit your needs. This doesn't mean that if you're in a committed relationship that it's over. It does not mean that. But only that you need to take action to make sure it makes it. Talk about how you're feeling. That's going to be your best hope. And if you're looking for a relationship, there's some single Aries out there. And you get this Will of Fortune. First, you're going to need to get very, very clear on exactly who you are looking for, what you're looking for. Then get out and socialize, whether it's online or by allowing friends to introduce you to someone that might fit the bill. Now, this Will of Fortune is paired with the Queen of Pentacles. It's a card about spending time, money, energy on your home or staying close to your home, getting it to be more comfortable or just being more comfortable at home. This is a good thing, uh, provided you don't take on too much expense or debt trying to get your place to be more comfortable. People could be looking to you for some type of insight or advice in the month of March. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you'll be able to get a whole lot accomplished as the Queen of Pentacles. When the Queen of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, it's a very feminine period. It points to strategy, particularly if you're not involved with anyone. Because the strategy with the Queen of Pentacles is to find love the stereotypical feminine way. Meaning, don't chase it. Make yourself available, but don't be desperate to bring someone new into your romantic life. Because when the time is right, it will be made abundantly clear to you, and you will not have to do backflips to make something come about. So make sure you just be upbeat and know that you have many things to offer and you're worth loving. So, for your recent past Aries, yeah, I think I said in March, but we're talking about, yeah, forgive me if I said in March, but this is the recent past. I'm sorry, I do get these, these tags mixed up, but we're on the, we're talking about the recent past, okay? So sorry if I said, for March. This is a March reading, but this Will of Fortune and this Queen of Pentacles is for your recent past. It could have been um, January 2020. Recent past is maybe a few weeks ago. It could have been six months ago. Something like that. Or maybe it was a year. Or more. But just a recent past. Will of Fortune and Queen of Pentacles is basically saying that Uh, in the recent past, you probably had some type of transformation or some type of change. Um, you were in a cycle, some type of cycle that um, it was a turning point cycle, something like that. Something happened and then it passed. And it could have had something to do with uh, your home. Uh, maybe you were trying to... Uh, do something to your home. Uh, you were comfortable at being home in the recent past. Maybe you worked at home a lot. Something about your home with this Queen of Pentacles. You're very comfortable being there. Very comfortable. But something happened whereas it didn't stay that way. 
So you might have been comfortable at home and then something happened and you were no longer comfortable. Or if this wasn't at home, maybe it was a situation. You were really comfortable with something in the recent past. And then something uh, changed and it took you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So that's for the recent past. Whatever that was. Um, but it, it's saying that it had something to do with your home. So let's move on to the present time. Now, the present time we have the Ace of Cups and it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Cups is a very powerful, powerful card in the tarot. Especially when it comes to love, happiness, affection. Like all the aces, it's about new beginnings. And it usually means love. Um, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of the life other than love also. Things will be looking up in March. People will respond to you with a lot of love and happiness and goodwill. More than usually at this time. It could be towards the end of March. The energy and the time is time is fluid, so maybe it'll lead into April. But uh, this is about uh, happiness and new beginnings, and you'll be feeling really good about life overall. This would also be a good time to make friends. Now, this Ace of Cups it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is like the Ace of Cups, basically. Very good. Very. You have a lot of things and you have a great deal to be thankful for with this Ten of Pentacles. Your relationships, finance, health, all those things will be going really well. You'll need to consider how you got to such a happy situation though. Make the best of it and make sure you share what you have even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because um, if you don't know, I'll tell you, we get back what we give out. So you might want to keep that in mind. So for the present time, in the month of March, or around that time, Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, it's all about happiness, uh, great relationships, good health, money coming in, uh, new beginnings with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Two beautiful cards for you for March. Beautiful. Things will be looking up. And people will respond to you with, with love, happiness, goodwill. These are two positive, very positive cards in the tarot. Um, if you're in a relationship, it could move to the next level. Engagement, marriage, childbirth. Um, if things were going not too good for you, they will um, take a turn for the better with these two cards, Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. That's a great, great time for you in March. Like I said, it could be towards the end of March, coming into April. So that's for your present time, Aries. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the challenge. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles, it's a uh, card about returns on investments. This can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into someone or a relationship. This card is about reaping what you have sown. It's very positive, very positive. You'll be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along. You'll be feeling um, very hopeful about the future with, with a really good cause. You could have some, well, let's put it this way. You may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, or situations that you already are involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So you might have to choose wisely. Uh, that's the Seven of Pentacles. It's with the Ace of Pentacles. You could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. Several levels. This is very positive new beginnings. you got a lot of great new beginnings in this reading. 
a lot of great new beginnings. Now with this Ace of Pentacles, uh, you'll be feeling upbeat and optimistic, just like what we talked about with the present time. Things will be going well. You could be starting something new, or maybe a new love is coming in. Um, something new, maybe in the area of work. But either way, it's going to be a good thing. So your challenge, this Seven of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, something that you put work and effort into, it's, it's coming back to you. It's paying off. You'll be reaping what you've sown. So it's about a return on some type of investment. Uh, okay, so that's a good thing. And then, then it brings a new beginning. With the Ace of Pentacles, it brings a, a brand new, wonderful new beginning. Whatever is coming back to you that you put energy into. And then you're going to start to feel really hopeful about the future. So that's really good. So far we're doing good, Aries. Let's take a look at the outcome. We have the High Priestess and the Hermit card. Now the High Priestess, is a, it can be a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon. It's tied to femininity and to inspiration. So you might inspire a lot of people. A lot of people you might inspire because people will be looking up to you. This is also over time. This is also a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams in the month of March, Aries. So you might want to keep a dream diary or a journal. That will be a good idea. Really good idea. So this high priestess is paired with the hermit card. The hermit card is a spiritual card also. So you might be really feeling yourself spiritually. You got two spiritual cards here. Uh, often, this Hermit card, it could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a, from a bank to an entire Christian church. Um, just like the Strength card, you may be more so in the frame of mind that you want to be alone, though. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house, just so that you can clear your head. Now this is a very well. This is this is a card about trying to do, um, trying to do the right thing, trying really hard to do the right thing. But just make sure that you're doing the right thing, which includes doing the right thing for you personally, and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So for your outcome, High Priestess and Hermit, you're gonna feel like withdrawing. And I can't figure out why, because the rest of this reading is so positive. You're going to feel like um, just being alone. Probably to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage that you maybe had been carrying for some time, or maybe for a short period. Um, you're going to feel like bringing in your spiritual side. Uh, with the high priestess, a lot of people are going to want your attention, want your attention, or be be drawn to you. Uh, it, this can be good. It can be bad because you'll probably attract all different types of people. But you want to withdraw. And I'm thinking it could be it could be because of what we talked about for the advice. You could be the type that likes to withdraw. Because remember we talked about oneness is my true nature? I said a lot, a lot of you Aries, not all of you, are the loner types. Not too many people are like that, though. Very, a lot of people are, but I think more people are prone to needing, just needing other people around, whether good or bad. 
a lot of people are, uh, a lot of people just need people to be around, whether they, they're hurtful or helpful. But if you, if you, if we're talking about what we talked about in the advice, uh, you f may feel like withdrawing and being to yourself again. And remember, remember I said that you want to find time to be with people now because it looks like this is where you're going to get your blessings through people. It looks like you got a lot of blessings in this reading. So when you start to want to go back to withdraw, just remember there could be there's a lot of things out there for you. A lot of things. You got these new beginnings we talked about. You got returns on investments, whether it's a return from from money coming back to you or from the energy or from the things that you put out to the universe is coming back to you now. We talked about that in the challenge. And it's going to bring a lot of prosperity. A lot of prosperity. So remember, because we've got this hermit current, just go on, just go be to yourself for a little while. Clear your mind. Okay, but just come right back. Come right back out of the uh, hermit stage. Come out of it. Don't stay there for long because... That's how you're going to get your blessings, by stepping out into the universe. Yeah, but you're, you're going to want to pull back. You're going to want to put your put your cloak or your hood over your head. You want to want to wander in the dark by yourself, like this picture is showing. I hope you can see it. That's what this man is doing. He's got one candle, and he's out in the dark all by himself. And um, you might forget that you do need people for you Aries out there that like to be alone because that's where your blessing the blessings are going to come to you through people that's how God is going to send it to you that's how you're going to get the return on these, this investment that we talked about it's going to come through a person your new beginnings is going to come through a person so get back out there get back out there and um yeah, because a lot of people with the high priestess still um, is saying that um, a lot of people are coming towards you. Yeah, they're coming towards you. They find you mysterious as this high priestess, so they want to. People want to get to know you more. So go ahead and open the door. But just be careful. I know everyone is not is not for your best interest or your highest good. So maybe just start with one person and take it that way but this is a pretty good reading it's a actually it's a good reading if you can remember to um, not if you can remember to not withdraw not go into the hermit mode but it's saying that's what you're gonna feel like doing 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 Feel like doing. Feel like doing.